Hi all, in this video we are going to look how to install Oracle 19C into Windows. Before proceeding with the installation, there are few prerequisites which should be met before the installation. So, first of all the Windows should be of 64 bit because 32 bit is not supported by Oracle Database 19C. So you must have Oracle 64 bit, uh, sorry you must have Windows 64 bit. Minimum 2 GB of free RAM should be there and 10 GB of empty space should be presented to the hard disk. Okay. If all these three requisites met, then we can install the downloading. So to start the downloading, we must go into this link. I will share the document and the link into the videos below the video. So you can take the link from there. So first we have to go into this link. And from the Oracle site, sometimes if you are a new user, it may ask you to log in. So just give your login credentials, log in through your email ID and you can see this page. Once you are into this page, you have to download Windows 64 zip file. Okay, there are different uh, operating systems uh, Oracle is present, but we need to download for Windows 64. So we need to just start downloading this, click on this file click on this link and it will start now, downloading it zip file need to create one folder one blank folder so wherever in whichever directory you want to install oracle in that directory create a folder for example i am create in f directory i want to install oracle in my f directory so i have just created a folder called app you can create folder of any name I have created a folder with app name. So just create a folder with app name and paste the downloaded file. So when you download the file, it may get downloaded into downloads or somewhere. So just copy and paste that zip file into your app folder. So I have already copied and pasted my zip file into my app folder. Similarly, I have downloaded the SQL developer as well. So SQL developer we need to install on top of this uh, Oracle. So first we need to complete the Oracle uh, installation. After that we can uh, use SQL developer as well. So for now I have just pasted this zip file into a newly created folder called app. Once you have pasted this file here, the next step is you need to extract this file. Do not extract before pasting it into the app folder. Always once creating the app, app folder, then only extract the zip file into this app folder. So I'm just extracting this file. So once this zip file got extracted, now you have to rename this zip file as let's say db home. After that, go into db home and start with the setup.exe. Just double click on the setup.exe. One more thing. That whenever you are running this setup.exe, prefer doing right click and run as administrator. So after that say yes. This command line interface will get open. You need to minimize it. It will automatically get closed when the uh, or installation is completed. So I just minimize it. In few minutes it will open a GUI as well which needs to be configured. Just give a few minutes. So once you are onto the configuration page, you need to open a notepad or take a copy and pen and just write the configuration details which you are uh, 
uh, entering here it's a very important and crucial step okay so whatever configuration you are uh, you are putting over here we need to write it down so first in the configuration we'll do create and configure a single instance database select next In the second option, we'll select the desktop class. We are not selecting a server class. We are installing it for the personal desktop use. So we'll select a desktop class. To next. This is a very crucial step. Here, most of the people select create new users or existing users. If you are installing it first time, always go for the use virtual account. It's very easy and we need not to provide any further detail. So just select use virtual account. Now here in this page, we have to give the exact location. So the folder in which the extract is, so F app in which the zip file is present. Here, just give a new name. So in F, I'm creating one more folder which will call Oracle. Okay, so this is the name of folder which I'm doing Oracle. Okay. The software location is automatically selected so you need not to do anything. Just remember that need to change and need to create one more uh, folder in there. Okay. After that, remember this uh, global database name, which is ORCL. Okay. R write this down onto your notepad so that you can uh, later you can use this. So ORCL is our global database name. Give any password. Okay. So the password should. The password should contains the Oracle recommendation standard. That means there should be one capital letter, uh, two numericals, sh numeric should be there and these kind of uh, things it should get, uh, it should have into the password. So once you have given a correct kind of password, the warning message will get, uh, will stop showing. Again, I need to type the same password over there. Now the container database is ORCL PDP. We also need to write this down. Just write the password, the ORC, uh, the pluggable database name and global uh, database name. Write these all these details into a notepad file. Once these are done, we'll do next. If you get this uh, warning message, you can just ignore this warning message. Or do you want to continue? Do yes. So once this got completed, we will get this install option and we need to select on the install option. So once the installation is done, this will come to the finish page and it will show some link here. We need to use this link. Uh, for future scenarios, so you just copy and paste this link and save it somewhere like I have saved it, this into my notepad similarly save it somewhere okay. Once that's done do a close This is still open it will take few minutes to get closed just wait for that Once it's closed, that means your installation is done. Now to check whether it's got installed successfully or not, we'll simply go into our Oracle folder. A new folder must have created into a start bar. It's called Oracle. You can see so different components of Oracle have been connected. To check whether the Oracle is installed correctly or not, we'll simply open SQL plus and build use username as system 
and the password will be same uh, you set it into the configuration page remember that when you write something into this password it will not show anything so don't get confused it is typing once you have typed the password just hit enter you can see the message showing is connected to oracle database 19c that means the oracle is got installed perfectly okay. also you can check the same thing into command prompt so if you want to check into command prompt just open a cmd and in the command prompt you can type sql plus as sysdba and you can see it's again showing to connected now here the uh, command prompt have changed to sql instead of the user the c path now it's changed to sql that means your sql that means your oracle is installed perfectly fine and you can start using the sql that's it